What is happening YouTube? It's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today we are looking at how we can live stream from our PC. Here we go. Welcome guys for another video and uh, today we are looking at how we can live stream with our PC. Maybe you have a Mac or a Linux, something like that. You can do this all on different uh, platforms. So first things first, obviously you wanna go to your browser, any browser you want. Go ahead and search OBS. There you go. Open broadcast, broadcaster, you can go ahead and click that. Once you're on the website, you can go ahead and click Windows or whatever platform you got. Go ahead and download one of them. As you can see there, it starts to download. Let's take a look at their features. It has high performance, real time video, audio, capturing and mixing. Once you guys um, get good on how to use this platform, it's very powerful and you'll be able to just stream to any uh, platform you got. Uh, maybe it might be in Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, DLive, all those platform you'll be able to just live stream to them and meet your audience and build an audience. You can set up an unlimited number of scenes so it's pretty cool nice and easy you can adjust your audio which audio you want louder and all that all that stuff powerful and easy to configure options in this case i don't know if it's easy it is powerful but once you get to know the platform then it'll be easy for everyone to use but as you can see when you are starting you don't know what's going on you won't be able to just uh, get on it and uh, start streaming so this is for the people who are beginners and so that one day you guys can, can live stream as well there you go once you've done that now you can go ahead and install your OBS studio in this case I've already installed it so I don't have to do that go ahead and open it up there you go OBS studio so just follow my cursor of where I'm going and make sure um, I'll try to make it slow so that you guys can follow uh, step by step. So once you open up your OBS studio, this is uh, very scary. You wouldn't know what to do. And when I started opening this as well, I didn't know how to capture anything. I ended up doing like, I believe it started with a display capture or something like that. And I, I was left with this and I'm like, I don't know what. To do right this is why i was inspired to create this video so that i can help you guys get started and you don't have to experience what i've experienced so the first thing you want to do is um, go to settings go to stream and pick your service so in this case you can go ahead and go to google and go google sorry twitch stream key so you'll be able to just click that right there or maybe even YouTube there you go YouTube live so the streaming key is what is key so you'll be able to stream from OBS once you've done that copy and paste your stream key right here don't show this to everyone this is a danger because a great warning for everyone because once someone has this on their hands they will be able to live stream to your profile so make sure you're the only one who knows this stream key and no one else so once you've done that press ok in this case you're all set up to go online and stream to uh, the platform that you want but we are not set yet we need to edit now what people will see and what we will see as well the studio mode and all that jazz. So here we go. The first thing we see, you, they give you this display capture. For me, I don't like that. So you can go ahead and press this eyeball, which turns that off, just like that. Or you can uh, delete it completely by pressing the minus button. Remove, right there. Yes. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and add one. You can add a source, in this case, I want to do like a window capture so let's go window capture okay let's say I want to capture my Streamlabs or maybe you want to open up a browser go ahead and select that right there firefox.exe that's okay to re-edit it double click 
and you'll be brought back to where you were before. Right. Right there. So once you have that, you'll be able to resize it to however, how big or how small you want it. Let's put that on the side for now. You can go ahead and lock this as well so that it won't move. Right there. You won't be able to move it anymore. Maybe you want to play a game, a full screen game. First thing you want to do is open up your game. Maybe we want to play Apex Legends. Wait till it starts up. There we go. Exit out and go press plus. Game capture. Okay. Once you have that, capture any full screen, sure. If the full screen doesn't work, you can go capture a specific window and press Apex Legends right there. Now we have Apex Legends right there. Beautiful. You can now rearrange that to however you want it. Go ahead and lock that as well. Now you want to add your webcam. So you can go ahead and press plus. In this case, my webcam is through my iPhone. So go ahead and add that right there. Select your webcam, press OK. Sub guys. There you go. Beautiful. Put that on the side for now. So as you can see there, I was able to put my webcam, my game, maybe a browser that you're trying to show to someone all in one go. So with these basic powerful uh, moves, you'll be able to live stream to Twitch, YouTube, all that stuff, pretty basic stuff. You can adjust your volume right here as well. You guys can hear me better and then lower. Maybe capture an audio from your, from your PC. So we go to Firefox and go to YouTube. There you go. Again, we love our no copyright sound, so we can go and go, go there. So in this case, maybe you don't hear it. What you want to do and press settings here, desktop audio. So you can see my mouse, follow it. Settings, properties, device, and go look for the speaker that you are using right there. Let's try that out again. As you can see there, it's showing now it's playing. You'll be able to hear what I'm hearing. On my, on my desktop audio. It's pretty cool. So once you are set and you set up all your your game and the windows and also your your camera, you'll be able to just press start streaming. Um, be careful when you press the start streaming. Once you've clicked that, you'll go live. Everyone will see you and maybe you're not ready. And then you'll be on the memes or funny streamers. Don't do that, please. What you can do is you can add a scene right here. Let's say we go start up screen or scene. There you go. And then you could put like, like an image. You could, we can add an image here for our beginning stage. So that we don't show ourselves right away. Start up scene. We can add an image by pressing plus again right here. And we go image. Okay. Look, browse for the image that you want. In this case on my desktop, I'm just going to use uh, mobile legends. Maybe you're doing a mobile legends stream. So that's my starting up screen. So now here's a great trick that I can show you guys. Maybe you want to show both of your live scene and your setup scene so that you can uh, edit your live scene. What you want to do is click studio. It's on the right side here. And you'll be able to see both. Program is the one that is showing right now. This is the live scene. This is what people will see. You'll be able to just press scene now right there so now you can edit on this side you'll be able to just edit this and it won't affect your live scene right here on the right side on the program side so once you are ready to live uh to show yourself you can just press transition 
But before that, we want to show our audience, make them excited, build a beginning screen, which is the starting scene that we have here. Uh, we are about to start, uh, do a countdown or something like that, you know, just to get people excited. And then once you are ready to go, you can transition in just like that, pressing transition. So you can show yourself to people now and you could be like, Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the stream, blah, blah, blah. Right. And now let's see, you wanted to go to the washroom or something like that. Now you can make a scene, another scene again and go, uh, BRB scene, right? There you go, BRB. And then we can add a source for that as well go image another image something like that browse could be maybe that that's our brb scene so now let's say you wanted to go to the washroom hey guys i'm going to the washroom you can go ahead and transition to that and now you can go ahead and edit this do whatever you like without affecting the live scene there you go you can do this as well for ending scene so let's say you want to have a commercial or like some sort of a ending scene where it shows your platforms, it shows your social media accounts, all that stuff. Then you could, you'll be able to just um, edit that out and add another scene here. Let's say uh, buy scene, right? There you go. And then edit and add whatever you want on there as well. Well, there you go. Nowadays, that is the easiest way to start streaming to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook and wherever you want to go. Make sure to engage your audience and make sure to be as entertaining as possible. I'm sure everyone can do it. I encourage you guys that you keep doing it and at least you could start now and able to engage people. Again, the key to Twitch and all these live stream platforms is to build an audience, to engage them and to be entertaining. Make sure to connect with your audiences and Focus more on them, uh, helping helping them and uh, supporting them. Well, that's it for the day, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and see you guys next time. Peace out.